Hey everyone, this is my Udemy account and uh, if you want to uh, learn uh, ASP.NET Core from zero to hero, then you can select ASP.NET Core zero to hero course with project. Uh, with project, I mean to say that just I'm going to, I'm giving you a five projects in this uh, zero to hero course uh, with the source code, with the videos and lots of more. ASP.NET Core with the JavaScript and jQuery course. This is uh, also I'm giving you a restaurant billing system in this uh, course and also here we have asp.net core with adu .net full project based course so here we have a portfolio and just i'm giving you a uh, lots of uh, uh, stuff in this uh, in these courses so you can buy these courses and enjoy okay now we have a class and just i want to use a role authorization so uh, just i want to uh, apply the role authorization and custom role authorizations so just i want to apply at here so you can say that here we have a login uh, http get and the post is a login view model you can see that login view model so uh, here we go for the login view model where we have a id username password and the role so you can see and after that uh, Gestion serializer is applied. Set the uh, login model in a session. You can see, and that there we have a login detail. So if uh, so, redirect to user VM login view model and login view model have a role. So VM dot role is integer enum dot roles. Then you can say just go for the index method. So here we go for written uh, redirect to action index and the users. But you notice that just uh, when we call uh, index and users like that, users and index, then you can say that it visible easily without any restriction, without any login detail. You can see here we go users and index wait for some time it will be displayed yeah it's visible without any login detail so how to restrict by using the authorization features so uh, first of all close all the tabs and just go for your uh, ui part and you know it's a controller and here we go for the users controller and here we have a index action method so just I want to add a uh, role authorization. So you can see that here we have a filters. Th these known as our filters. And filters are much usable uh, thing in ASP.NET Core. So you can use uh, filters. Just write, just add a new directory. The name is filters. So just close. First of all, stop the debugging first and that change the new folder name that is filter now add a new uh, class empty file and that is a role authorized attribute role authorized attribute dot cs file and in the cs file just inherit with authorize attribute There we go for authorized attribute and also I authorize filter. filter. Okay, so just I am going to implement this function, implement interface, and here we have a own authorization uh, that is the math name. <coughs> okay. So authorize filter and I authorization filter where we go for, for the to, uh, to uh, you know private read only integer that is the role okay and this time I'm going to add public uh, there we go for the constructor and here we go for integer role 
and just assigned it underscore role equals to role okay that's cool now own authorization is going here and you know uh, that is the web session just I want to get so there we go for context dot http context dot session dot get string and you know the string is in the logins account folder and here we have a uh, you know login details so role authorization attribute you can use it here there we go for the session if you can say session is not equals to null then your session object is uh, much uh, you know it's fine name right here so if it is uh, session object is double equals to null you can say so uh, or you can say string is null or empty because it's an empty string dot is null or empty that is session object and here we go okay so now just use context dot result that is action result okay, so new redirect to action redirect to action result and here we go for the login and the name of the controller that is account you know accounts and here we go for the null value the next one is that uh, what is right here you want to type return only okay and the next one is you can just add new detail where login details okay so you just convert dot deserialize object and here we go for the login view model so here we have a login view model and here we have just converted session object so it's a login view model just check if login details dot role dot role in teaser app role no it's not a app role it's a enum roles enum roles dot uh, sorry it's equal to the role there we go or the role okay so login detail dot role is equal to the role I mean to say that if you can pass the one right here and here we go for the one in the role features so you can say both are equal then you can uh, it's not equal if it is not equal then you can say just redirect to context dot context dot result is what is that is new for bit result that's fine that is, there we go for the forbidden result so uh, the result is forbidden result now uh, you can use or role authorization so role authorize so role authorize and right here you can use uh, an index method right here role authorize as a attribute and you can just go for the one here we go because it's key okay that's cool now save this your attribute and here we go <clears throat> okay the so session is the null by default and just I want to uh, log in into the uh, a teachers account instead of uh, you know admin account so the phone is the redirect to the admin only so just redirect back to the users first and index then you can just go for oops 
invalid operation exception no authorization scheme was specified and there was no default challenge scheme found the default scheme can be set using the add authentication okay so authorization filter and uh, you know just i want to set it back to the uh, program.cs file and here we go for the use authorization okay so also set uh, uh, the authentication scheme looking like this so here we have a builder dot services dot add authentication that is the cookie uh, authentication defaults dot authentication scheme and add cookie and where we have a login path that is the login accounts and the login okay that's cool now after that we will add a use authentication now after doing this you can just use user uh, controller uh, sorry uh, here we have a uh, that is the attribute where we have a role authorize one now now just go for the accounts controller and here we go for add some types of things like uh, claims uh, there we go for the claims and claims identity with the uh, cookie authentication default dot authentication scheme and now after that you can use http context dot sign in async and a cookie authentication default dot authentication scheme with the new claims principle and new claims principle with the claims identity so claims identity and now after that redirect to the user okay that's cool now uh, just sign in into the scheme and here we where we go for uh, the default uh, challenges okay uh, now you can see that output if you are logged in into the teachers account then you can say and uh, suppose uh, just you have to go for users and index then you can just go for the accounts like that and uh, there is where we nothing to do it here and here we go again you can just go for the log accounts and login logged in so okay uh, now just go for the admin account as well and just change this and uh, okay so if you are uh, if you are uh, in other uh, like the teacher just go for that okay so here we go but you notice that here we go for uh, users and index there we go for uh, accounts and access denied path there we go uh, you know it's not you are the authorized person to log in into the system so that's really cool that that's our uh, the pretty cool uh, scenario you can do with the authorization filters thank you very much for watching this